Alright, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to, the easiest way to get Minecraft 64-bit working on your computer. And, uh, well, I guess Minecraft doesn't really have a 64-bit, but it uses 64-bit Java. And, uh, it's essentially still the same thing. Alright, um, <coughs> now I'm going to show you guys something real quick. If you go in and use just the normal EXE on Windows, go in here in the video settings, it says right here, a 64-bit Java installation is recommended for far render distance. You have 32-bit. Now, by default, the Windows environment um, is set to use 32-bit Java, if you've got it. Um, and typically, both Javas need to be installed. Um, you can have both. But uh, if you only have 32 and you don't have 64 bit, you're going to need to open <coughs> Internet Explorer. And typically, I would use typically I would use Google Chrome or Firefox. But this makes it easier in Internet Explorer. Uh, you want to go to Java.com, and right here it says Download Java. Um, when you're using 64-bit um, Internet Explorer, it will automatically detect that you have a 64-bit system. Now, Firefox doesn't have a 64-bit browser, I don't believe, and I'm not 100% positive about Google Chrome or any of the other ones. But I do know Internet Explorer does have a 64-bit version, so just make it simple. Uh, we'll use that. Um, agree and start your free download. Um, you're going to want to save it. And then um, once it's done downloading, just click Run. Uh, if you've got your thing enabled, like you should, your user account control, uh, you should this should pop up. You want to click Yes, and then uh, this won't pop up unless you've already got it. But better safe, um, better to be safe than sorry. So if it does click up, just click Yes anyway. Um. It'll go through the whole process. It doesn't take that long. It's not. It's not that bad. Um. Then this will show up. Um. Don't change your destination unless you know that it's not going to be going to C. Your C drive program files in Java. For some reason, if, you, if, it's, if there's something messed up with your computer and it doesn't default go there, then change it to that. Or you'll have to change something else on a later date. Later in the video. Okay. Um, now that that's installed, all you want to do is either download this, so the link will be in the description, or I will have a... Um, I'll have all the code just into the into the, 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 the in the description if you don't trust me enough to download the batch file. Um, but if you just copy it, make sure you copy it all. Um, double check all that good stuff, and then just just open up some Notepad, paste it in there. Save as, save it wherever you want, but you gotta just make sure. I'm just gonna call it ASDF and then dot bat. Make sure you have the dot bat. You gotta have that. Then go ahead and run it, and it's just gonna go through a whole bunch of code real fast. And it's. That's it. You're done. You can now use Minecraft 64 bit. Just to show you guys. Options video. Look at that. Nothing bugging me. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail. For those of you who don't care, you can leave now. The purpose of the video is over. You now have 64-bit Java running with your Minecraft. But for those of you who are a bit curious, stick with me a little longer. Um. No, hang on. Let's open that Notepad++. 
There we go. Um, the top, you can go through and read this. Uh, don't judge my spelling because I just kind of put them in there for me for while I was making it. And I'm pretty sure I spelled a lot of the rem statements wrong. But this will, this is where it's held at. Which is in Windows, Users, Your Name. And then it created Minecraft 64. <clears throat> and these are the files. Um, we have the exe there. Well, I put the exe there so you, not, uh, goodness gracious. <laughs> so that there's an icon on your desktop so you can use it for an icon. That's pretty much all I use that for. Um, that's what's actually running. Um, this is the, um, the code to launch it. It's actually on the Minecraft website. Um, if you feel that you want more RAM dedicated, you can change one of these. Just do some, do a little research on it. Uh, that's a gig of RAM dedicated, and I, I don't know what that one stands for, but I don't know. You can figure it out. Um, and then we have the VB script, which silently um, runs the batch file. Because otherwise, if you just open it like this, you have Minecraft with your batch file in the background. If you close your batch file, your Minecraft goes away too. And no one wants a batch file in the background while they're playing a game, right? So that's why we have the VB script. Um, what you don't see is that it creates two separate VB, VBS um, script files. To download right here the Minecraft jar and the Minecraft exe and don't worry these are coming from the these are the official files if you go to minecraft.net and uh, look at the um, URL that you download from that is it um, see so deletes it there this creates the batch file um, that creates the VB script to run it and this creates a script that creates your desktop shortcut. So if you want to tweak some stuff in the file, if you know what you're doing, go for it. Like if you don't want it to be called Minecraft 64-bit, you know, just change it. Do whatever you want. But you gotta have the dot .inc. Um, also, if you don't want it in Minecraft, I probably sh should have made this a variable Minecraft 64-bit because I use it quite a bit in here. But um, if you want, you can go through and change that, or make it a variable. It's up to you. I may do that later. Um, then it deletes it, and that's pretty much it. Now you have a 64-bit. I just thought I'd share that with you guys, because cause, cause I, I needed it, and I didn't have it. And it took me, like, a long time. <laughs> It's been so long since I've played this game. Alright. That's it. Hope this helped you guys.